So first ensure step one of the code lab is open and visible. I'll be walking you through each section live in this video. However, do note that the code lab text will go into much more detail and I will not be reading this word for word. You can think of this video as an executive summary of what's contained in each section. So do remember to pause the video at the start of a new section to ensure you read the extra information contained in the written text of the code lab as you go along too. Furthermore, code snippets will be much easier to copy and paste from the code lab, so look out for those. Okay, let's dive into step one. So in this code lab, you will learn how to build a web page that uses TensorFlow.js from a blank canvas, that uses machine learning in the browser to classify common objects using the Coco SSD pre-trained model, and can draw bounding boxes for each detected object. Now, in order to do that, you will learn how to load a pre-trained TensorFlow.js model, how to grab data from a live webcam stream, and then learn how to classify an image from the camera to find objects contained within it. And then of course, write the code to highlight the found objects with bounding boxes all in real time. Moving on to step two of the code lab, you can see that this is just an overview of a TensorFlow.js system and its benefits, which you already covered at the start of this course. So feel free to skip this section unless you want a recap. Now move on to step three. Step three informs you of some of the benefits of using pre-trained models and what others are available. As you have shown earlier in this chapter, TensorFlow.js has a whole bunch of pre-trained models that you can use. So remember, what you learn in this lesson can be used and applied to the other models that also exist in a very similar way. Let's also recap the benefits of using a pre-made model here. The first point is that there's no need for you to gather all of the training data yourself. And when you're making a machine learning model, this is typically where you spend most of your time and money. Clearly, here, this has all been done for you, so you don't need to do that. Which leads us to point two. You can prototype faster and with a lower cost when using a pre-trained model like Coco SSD. Now, many of these models are using state-of-the-art research that are not just models that were created in JavaScript as toys, these are actually top quality models from real researchers. The fourth point is that many of the pre-trained models will be easier to use and provide good documentation as you saw earlier in the chapter. And finally, some pre-trained models support transfer learning, which you will learn more about later in this course, but is essentially the art of reusing a model with your own custom data so it can be repurposed for that new task that is similar. Now today, you'll be using the Coco SSD model. This model aims to localize and identify multiple objects in a single image, and it's been trained on something known as the Coco dataset, which as you saw before, stands for the Common Objects in Context and was created by Microsoft. The model uses the SSD architecture to work behind the scenes, so this is where it gets its name, Coco SSD, referring to the dataset and the architecture it uses. So now it's time to head on to the next section to set up your coding environment.